Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 358. Heme synthesis, porphyrias, and lead poisoning. Let's quickly talk about heme synthesis before we move on to lead poisoning and porphyrias. Name the rate limiting enzyme in heme synthesis. The rate limiting enzyme in heme synthesis is delta aminolevulenic acid synthase. What reaction is catalyzed by delta aminolevulenic acid synthase? This rate limiting enzyme delta aminolevulenic acid synthase combines glycine plus succinyl CoA along with cofactor vitamin B6 to make delta aminolevulenic acid. What is the name of the disease in which there is a defect in the enzyme delta aminolevulenic acid synthase? Delta aminolevulenic acid synthase is defective in the condition sideroblastic anemia, which is a X-linked condition. What is the name of the enzyme that converts delta aminolevulenic acid to porphobilinogen? The enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is delta aminolevulenic acid dehydratase. Name the condition that inhibits delta aminolevulenic acid dehydratase. Delta aminolevulenic acid dehydratase is inhibited by lead poisoning. What is the name of the enzyme that converts porphobilinogen to hydroxymethylbilane? The enzyme that catalyzes the reaction of porphobilinogen to become hydroxymethylbilane is porphobilinogen deaminase. What is the name of the condition in which there is a defect in porphobilinogen deaminase? The condition in which there is a defect in porphobilinogen deaminase is acute intermittent porphyrias, which is the second most common porphyria. The next step in heme synthesis is the conversion of hydroxymethylbilane to uroporphyrinogen 3. What is the name of the enzyme that converts uroporphyrinogen 3 to coproporphyrinogen 3? The enzyme that catalyzes this reaction is uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase. What is the name of the disease in which there is a defect in the uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase? The condition in which there is a defect in uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase is porphyria cutanea tarda, which is the most common porphyria. One way to remember these last two enzymes are associated with porphyrias, just remember there is some sort of porphyria word in their name. For example, uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase is for porphyria cutanea tarda, whereas porphobilinogen deaminase is for acute intermittent porphyria. The next step in heme synthesis is where coproporphyrinogen 3 becomes protoporphyrin. And the last step is where protoporphyrin combines with iron to become heme. So what is the name of the enzyme that catalyzes this reaction? The name of this enzyme is ferroketolase. What inhibits the enzyme ferroketolase? Ferroketolase is inhibited by lead poisoning. So this was the biochemical reaction of heme synthesis. A couple of things to note here about heme synthesis is that heme itself provides negative feedback on its own production. So if there is low amount of heme, it would stimulate the activity of delta aminolevulenic acid, therefore leading to more heme production. But if there was already too much heme, then it would decrease the stimulation of delta aminolevulenic acid and therefore leading to decrease in heme synthesis. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.